Hello everyone. So in the first part of the video, I would like to walk you guys through on how to set up the Next.js project and also I'll be walking you guys through on how to set up Tailwind CSS as well. So by having this two, we are able to set up the front end. So let's get started. So first of all, we need to go to our browser and just go to Tailwind and just go to this particular get started link and just look for framework guides and here you are able to install the next js together with tailwind css simultaneously so we are able to just save our time just by having this to tolerate by by just having this common as you can see here it says npx create next app latest this is exactly the same as if you would go for directly to Next.js applications website. So all you have to do is just need to copy this. I have a file right here. Let me make a new. I have to open my terminal inside my local file. And of course, I have to paste the command. And as you can see right here, you're able to have this particular my project. My project is basically the name of the project that you would like to give to your project. And just go to this particular my project text right here. Just replace it with your preferred name. In this case, I like to give shop and I like to leave TypeScript and of course, I won't be needing ES lint right here. Just hit backspace and just hit enter. And right here, as you can see, it's asking for ES sync. We won't be needing it. And would you like to use Tailwind? Of course, yes. Let you use source directory. In this case, I'm not going to use source directory. So I'm just going to say no for this. And I like to yes, give yes for this because that's recommended. And uh, just no for this. And yeah, as you can see right here, it's actually started to install all the required necessary packages. You just need to be wait for the entire project packages to be downloaded. All right. As you can see right here, we have already downloaded the front end. So now let's head back to the project directory. Just need to click on it. Just need to refresh it and you'll be able to have it right here and open it with VS Code. And there you go. Your project files has already been installed together with node modules. So let's actually look at what's the next step inside the Tailwind. And in the Tailwind, by the way, as you can see here, the next thing is to npm install Tailwind and together with post CSS auto prefixer. And, but then it has already been installed inside our project right here. As you can see right here, we have already installed tailwind.config.js. And this is basically what is needed when, for the next step right here. And if you just, if you just copy and just paste inside the terminal right here, it does not make any changes because a file has already been installed. So let's see if I would like just do the, just like to copy the second step right here and paste it. And as you can see right here, your file has already been installed and configured earlier just by setting up the first step. Now, in the third step right here, we need to be placing all these directories. As you can see right here in our tailwind.config.js, it has already been implemented as well. So we don't need to make much changes. And if you go to our fourth step right here, you need to be looking for globals.css, which can be accessed inside app. So I just need to click on this app. As you can see right here, this three things are already there also. So we don't need to do any of this particular step. And the next thing is we just need to run npm run that copy and just use the terminal that we have just opened and just paste it right inside here. And of course, you need to be running it. And there you go. You just need to click on this particular link that the server created. And there you go. This is the, the basic boilerplate whenever when we set up a Next.js project. So if I go to this particular page.tsx, which is basically the, the most root page of all, and I can actually just change the entire page so that, so that it actually looks like what we would have some plan to comment the main part right here. And inside here, I'm just going to add my own custom code. And of course, I need to be having this particular open and close tags right here, which is empty. And just add like, add like an h1 tag. And this h1 tag should be just, I'm just going to say hello world. And not just that, I would also like to test whether the Tailwind has already been installed and configured properly. So in that case, I like to use class name. And uh, inside this class name, I like to give some basic Tailwind styling properties so that I complete my test that I've already installed Tailwind. And first styling properties I like to give, I like to like uh, underline this particular text. So just by saying underline, I must be able to see that this particular text should be having an underlined text right here. So as you can see, this particular text has already been underlined. And as you can see, the background is like 
this basically is coming from globals.css as well. So we can just change a bit of this particular background styling property. So as you can see here, we don't be needing any of this particular background also. And as you can see, if I command this particular part, and if I head back to our browser, you will be able to find the background does not exist anymore. And there you go. This is basically one way to check whether you have already installed and configured Tailwind into your project. And by just by installing this particular Next.js project, you're able to install all the dependencies just by single installation. You don't have to do, go multiple locations just to get your Tailwind to be set up. So that's the end of this particular part of the video. And in the next part of the video, I'll to walk you guys through on how to add sanity into our project. Let's catch up on the next one.